greetings and back again today we're going to talk about something that's a little different i'm going to talk about this this is a copy of the uniball vision rollerball pen sans rollerball and they cost about a buck and uh, these are like super cheap i got them from china and uh, this is we're going to talk about this one it came in a set with with uh, five other pens a set of six and uh, like i said under a almost a buck a piece and so this is the one that we'll talk about today this is a demonstrator and uh, these are the jin hao 991 demonstrator fountain pens now uh, this one is a um, frosted on the outside a, a true demonstrator uh, you can see the interior but they're usually clear this one's frosted on the outside because it's less expensive to produce them that way and uh, you can see all the workings now a real demonstrator would be a regular pen like this but that's just done in clear but now every clear pen is called a demonstrator that's just how it is so this has a nice clear finial cap on the end as well as on the back where the sprue was cut off so that they could uh, injection mold this machine where the gate the fill gate was it's got this nice this nice um, folded metal clip and it's springy it, it it'll do a great job it just goes in right here it's very minimalist and up here you can see that there's a little cap to keep the ink dry, to keep the nib from drying out and this just pops off it's got five little little raised sections that go over this molded ring that is in the clear section of the pen. You can see there's this cap up here and the section and the cap come right together to hold the, the um, nib and keep it keep it moist. So it's a pretty well made. This is a number five nib and uh, this is just a slightly tapered barrel and it just screws off there's plenty of threading here to put silicone grease on if you were to want to eyedropper this but i i never do that i i don't like doing that and as far as posting this post pens really well the little things start to grab hold and then you can push it home to get it a very tight seat against that inside cap this is just your standard jin hao cartridge converter and uh, you can see the branding here on that and uh, wait let's put that inside of here so it won't roll away and uh, we have the section the section is oddly clear and polished there's no markings and uh, you can see that this has the number five stainless steel nib just like this x200 Jin Hao. they have the exact same nib and the exact same feed they also have the exact same length of the uh, section even though this one is clear so this uh, has something else this has a nib unit there are threads in here and this comes out as a single piece you can see the back of the feed is going up into the tail of this unit here and then you can see there's a little black o-ring that seals the unit against this chamfer on the section so that you could eyedropper this i would still put silicone in if i were to do it and then you can slide this apart and uh, and then i can uh, slide this feed out of the nib unit and here we have it it's just a simple number five cheapo plastic feed and the stainless steel nib it has some branding on the top with the jin hao horse drawn carriage We'll line these up, and when you put this back in, the feed doesn't have any kind of locking, but the nib does right here at this branding. You can see these lines where there's a cutout where the tail of the of the nib has to line up and go in. So you've got to make sure that your feed and your nib are correct, otherwise they're not going to work. And then you just simply screw it back together, and that uh, little rubber O-ring will seal it up. So let's make sure that's on correctly. We'll put this back together and get that out from being posted so it didn't roll away. We screw this all back together and voila, we have an inexpensive $2 pen. <laughs> so uh, this thing's ready for inking and let's do that now. Let's ink this bad boy up and see what we can do. This is Fountain Pen Revolution Mardi Gras ink. I like this ink. It's got lots of different colors. It's a shading and sheening ink. I don't like metal caps but uh, I'll just cover that up, see if I can kill the reflections here. We'll 
post that so it doesn't roll away. And we'll get this cap off. I don't like these metal caps or plastic bottles because you can see it almost fell over. So let's get the uh, plunger all the way down so that we can get a, a decent fill on this. We'll see what we can do. And uh, looks like we got a pretty good fill there. Just a little bit of air up here, and then we want to wipe off the nib carefully along the edge. And again, this is a plastic bottle, so they can fall over easy. got to be careful. Always cap your ink. So you cap the ink up, set that aside, get it out of the way. Now let's clean this uh, nib section up here. We're going to try to draw some ink out, and we'll give it a little inspection and see how it looks. These injection molded parts are really uniform and very cleanly finished. So they go together pretty easily. We'll just put this pen barrel back on. And again, if you wanted to eyedropper this, you could. Let's give this an inspection. No ink drew up between the nib unit and the section. You can see the ink is sitting underneath the uh, number five nib between the nib and the feed and the pen writes great so let's draw something and uh, we'll speed this up now and since i'm drawing with this fountain pen revolution mardi gras ink i may as well try to do something that uh, i don't know looks a little mardi gras-esque so uh, how about a a reveling college student on her uh, spring break earning beads and listening to jazz out on the streets of out on the streets of new orleans so uh, this ink is a nice ink. I, I find that it flows very well and it has a lot of colors in it. It's uh, got many different colors that I can draw out as it dries. It's a sheening and a uh, shimmering ink and it just has a lot of different properties from purples and blues to uh, even a little bit of red can show up on it on occasion if you can coax it the right way. And, uh, and again, it has these nice reflective characters. I shouldn't have uh, painted her teeth, I guess. And uh, we can try to draw some of those out by pushing the ink around a little bit with this water pen, add a little more detail into the wet, and see what we can get out of this. These pens uh, with this number five nib, this, this is the standard Jin Hao nib, and it works very well. It writes smoothly. The feed provides uh, plenty of ink for what I'm doing. It's a bit of a dry writer, this pen, and uh, I guess there's an eye hiding behind that G. Marred grass. Well, whatever. Uh, maybe she drank too much. I don't know. But uh, she's old enough. So, uh, yeah, we'll just tint this up and see if we can draw some more color out of it. And my lighting might not allow that to happen, unfortunately. But uh, the ink flows well, and this Jin Hao pen, it, uh, it's, it is a dry writer. And so, like doing some reverse writing, it doesn't really work too well for that. But come on, it's, it's a $2 pen. <laughs> and I did try interchanging parts from the other pens with this pen, and all the pieces are very well made. The, uh, the one thing I don't know is how well the others will write. We'll have to test those out in the future and whether or not that cap really does keep the nib from drying out. But hey, for two bucks, you can't really go wrong. So if you need a pen that you're just going to knock around with or, or uh, give to somebody to learn how to use a pen, and for me, I'm going to try inks out on these and see if they destroy my pens, <laughs> this is the good way to go. And uh, that's it.